Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. Using tarot to help you do the inner work, heal yourself and create the life that you truly want to live. This is today's tarot. It's for all signs and it's for Wednesday the 23rd of October 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a membership here on my channel in which I do a daily live show, channeled show for the members. I uh, would love to have you as part of that. Click that join button down there if you'd like to be. So what's in the energies for everybody today? We've got empowerment, empowering ourselves, rituals and offerings. So a day where we might be very intentional about things and call, call forth the waves. Interesting. So call forth the waves is like bring it on. Uh, I know there might be trouble ahead, but bring it on. I'm going to empower myself anyway for good reason, rituals and offerings. So this isn't just uh, creating drama just for the sake of it. This is when we get to the point of um, I need to stand up for myself. I need to speak out on this now. This behavior is 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 no good. I need to do something about it now. And, and yes, I know it's going to create some kind of drama doing that, but it needs to be done. It's that kind of thing. It's a very intentional, um, I, I do need to stir the pot now. This cannot go on. I think as empaths, we do let things fly. I mean, we've got to give people a chance, right? Um, but we, we do tend to let things fly a little too much, perhaps too often. And it comes to a point where it's like, mm, no, I've got to actually do something about this now and empower myself and stand up for myself or say no to this kind of behavior and like what the ramifications are of that or whatever it is. You could be speaking up for yourself today, empowering yourself. Relaxation. Nice. So it's not all confrontation then. There's a bit of relaxation going on today. We also have stillness, relaxation and stillness. Perhaps you're relaxing and being still before it, or perhaps relax being still, going in there saying what you need to say and then being chill and, and still afterwards as well. Um, and it, it could very well be that doing that gives you the chill, gives you that chill and relaxation because I'll tell you what, when something needs saying, when we haven't been addressing it, that doesn't make us feel relaxed. We can be on repeat in our minds, you know, the same thing going around and around in our mind, the unsaid thing, like this is what I should have said to them, like that they hurt me, that there's this and there's this and this behavior is not acceptable. And it goes around and around and around in us and, and we're not chill when it's like that. But when you speak it out, when you get something off your chest, when you say what needs to be said, then you can relax. You could be experiencing that today. Getting it off your chest. Let's get more tarot out. Okay, so we started with the temperance card, which is about your emotions. And tempering our emotions isn't pushing them down. It's dealing with our emotions in the appropriate way. We've got an emotional guidance system for a reason. It's not to ignore it. It, our emotional guidance system isn't wrong. It's not a wrongness of us to feel different things in different situations. Certain behaviors and certain things that happen to us should make us feel angry. Ang anger isn't a bad emotion and we're wrong to feel it. Mm -mm. Mm. And if you have been the recipient of, say, a narcissist rage, and you've been on the receiving end of that, you might be making yourself wrong for experiencing anger and then you perhaps aren't getting the guidance that anger is giving you. Anger means something is definitely not in alignment with you and something needs to change there. And so probably hence the um, speaking out about it. Cards here. Then we've got the Hermit, which is inner work or being by yourself. Six of Cups, past energy and the King of Swords, clarity. Perhaps gaining clarity. Tell us why the temperance. What are we doing with our emotions here? Page of materials, it's starting something off. Now pages can be messengers. And so it could be about getting something off your chest. Materials is something very tangible, like in the real world kind of thing. It's not just dreaming it up this time, it is delivering a message. So yeah, the actual speaking out could be what tempers your emotions. So. It feels like speaking out is exactly what is required at the moment. What's behind that is self-love and it's a self-loving thing to do. You've got to remember love, it has to be balanced with self-love. 
So love is incomplete if it's just about the other people and it's not about you. If you're sacrificing yourself and how you feel um, for other people and how they feel, that's people pleasing. That's not love. It's not love when it's one-sided like that. So don't be just giving it out. Make sure that it's about self-love too. And a balanced kind of a love does call people out on their bad behavior. Doesn't just take the impact of other people's behavior, right? The Hermit, there's some inner work to do here and there's like stillness. The Emperor taking charge of something. Like I said, I think it, I think it is the stillness and the calm and the relaxation comes from having spoken out and taking charge of a situation. What's behind that is it's all good. Mm. I I am just picking up this energy that you might you might have made it not okay to do that in the past and now you might be feeling the relief of having done that and like why didn't I speak out before? That tends to happen when we've learned how to empower ourselves and that it's okay. We get a really good feeling from it, from doing it. Because we're more in alignment when we do it, that's why. Six of Cups, there's some past energy here. What is it? Queen of Materials and the Hierophant. Success from spiritual lessons. It's some kind of abundance from the past. So, a past time where you had similar spiritual lessons, you overcame them and then the abundance started flowing in. It tends to happen when we get ourselves more in alignment. Mm. So you might be recalling some time in the past when you did something similar, when you, like, you passed a spiritual lesson like this, like you're doing today, and then your abundance started flowing, your success started flowing as a result of it. What's behind this? Teaching, learning, learning your patterns, learning your own patterns. The King of Swords and gaining clarity from it. This isn't someone else's energy this time, it's our energy. Mm, six of Inspiration. So it's like gaining clarity of how you gain your own success. It's through growing, isn't it? It's, it's through getting more and more in alignment. It's not to say that you're always out of alignment. No, it's it's an ongoing process of getting even even more and more in alignment. So our tests become greater the more in alignment that we get. Not harder, although they can, but I think it gets easier, but we do we are set like harder challenges, right? Just depends on how much you can cope with really. So you might be getting clarity, gaining clarity on how to make success happen in your life through getting more and more in alignment or self-growth really is what it is. Hey? Stripping illusions behind that. So you are in charge of it after all. You might have been feeling like a victim to things not working out, abundance not working out for you, but then you get over a spiritual lesson like this, empower yourself, speak out, and then the abundance starts flowing. It's like, ah, oh, so my energy I was keeping down, I was kind of punishing myself, taking the hit of energies that I shouldn't have been, I needed to let it out, and then I'm in alignment, and then things start working out. So you might be gaining and remembering about the past when a similar kind of thing happened and realizing you've got more power in your life than you think. Now, what about our love lives today? Anything going on for our singles? In the romance, healing. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And it's all about healing your heart as well. Things to be learned in relationships, but perhaps from past relationships. Also have practice gratitude. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard to be grateful for um, negative experiences in relationships. We learn a lot through them, but ouch. I think when enough time has passed, it can be easier to get into gratitude about it. Confusion about strings attached. I mean, what are they even doing? <laughs> People perhaps approaching you for some kind of entanglement and the strings attached, they're not even available or something. And you're like, huh? Makes no sense. You want what? 
giving oneself and withdrawn. So you might have been giving to a situation and then they want something that's unreasonable and you withdraw. That's what it feels like to me in confusion about why they would even think that that's possible. That could be what you're speaking out on today as well for some of you. It's like, that's not okay. <laughs> it's like, you want your cake and eat it? You want a relationship without having a relationship? You want me to have a relationship with you without you having a relationship with me? <laughs> that's one-sided. It could be something like that today for some of you. What else have we got in the energies? What else? We have four-leaf clover. Great, good fortune. We have lightning. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. So, yeah, anger does seem to be coming up in the energies today. And that's okay. We don't need to unleash it. I mean, we need to feel it and then take an action to release that anger. We need to listen to what anger is telling us, right? It's often, you know, an injustice or the things that make us angry are really things that need to be addressed. But it doesn't mean that we can like rage at other people. Do you know what I mean? It's like you don't unleash it on somebody else. Or you might use that anger to fuel you to actually address the situation and speak out on it. Dark woman and feather. This dark woman may be undependable and insincere. Watch out for that. Or someone you know is. Well, think of a yes or no answer question. I've got red and green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. It's just a bit of fun though. This is a general reading, not a personal one. If you do want a private reading, I offer them from my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Anything from one question readings to soul contract readings. Lots of different kinds of readings and energy healings on offer. Check them out on my website, behealing.com. So how best to deal with these energies today? Well, we've got the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is about learning and teaching and perhaps talking with other people about it too and learning from other people's experiences as well in similar situations. There's a lot of learning going on today. A lot to learn today or like putting the pieces together of like, ah, oh, this is best if I, if I act like this, if I take action like this, especially when feeling anger, I feel. Okay, well, think of a yes or no answer question now. Your answer is yes. Go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new. Leave me a comment as well. I love hearing from you. There we go. Um, and do consider clicking that join button down there as well to be part of my membership. Um, and join me for my daily meditations as well. I'm doing a daily meditation live here on my channel. I'd love for you to meditate with me. You can do it live with me if you can catch me. Or um, just watch the replay and you'll be meditating with me in your own time. Well, have the best day ever and I will see you tomorrow.